what is up you guys? It's Mila. That's loud. Can you hear that? Ow, I can't. Here, <laughs> through my nose. <laughs> hey, what is up you guys? It's me, Love K Ray, and today I'm going to teach you how I clean my inflatable pool now that I'm dubbed officially Queen of Inflatable YouTube. Queen of inflatable pools by YouTube because I'm number one when you search inflatable pool on YouTube So like, you know, I've just taken that throne. I really just taken that swimming pool inflatable pool throne I'm going to teach you how to clean it because it is a pool that doesn't have like a proper filter Filtration system. Is that what it's called? So you got to keep it clean by doing multiple steps And I'm gonna teach you and go through how I do those in this video right now before I jump into the video before I jump into the pool I just wanted to ask you guys to please consider subscribing to my channel if you want more videos about pools, inflatable pools. Also, I make videos every single week on selling random things on the internet to make some money because I'm trying to buy a house at 23. Ooh, scooby doo poppy. Doo doo. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up and yada yada yada. Now, let's go to the pool. The first thing I want to point out about the pool is I have this Intex solar cover yeah. oh. <laughs> on the pool. This solar cover, uh, hence the name solar, takes in the sun, absorbs the sun, it kind of heats the pool up a little bit, and also it's perfect that it's, you know, covers the pool. It's easy to put on, it's not like a tarp where it's kind of like hard to put it on, you have to maneuver it, it stays for the most part. So I would highly recommend getting a pool cover if you don't have one yet. I would invest the 30 or $40 into getting the actual pool cover instead of a tarp or a piece of plastic or whatever the heck you're gonna use. Oh, I just got these Crocs, do you like them? I need gibbets. I need lots of gibbets. Oh my god, now the cops are coming. Who did that? <laughs> whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, by the way, I'm going to link everything in the description below so you can click on it, find the stuff that I use for my pool, some other recommendations that I've had that I've used in the past, so make sure to go down there and click it with my Amazon link to support my channel. Oh, by the way, it was raining for like five days before today and yesterday, and now it's 90 degrees, so we better get in this pool, but the pool's gonna be dirty. It's gonna be nasty. It's been here for through a storm, bird poop, everything. Probably fish in there. There are probably fish swimming. I'm just kidding, there's no fish in there. What are you, crazy? Okay, so we're gonna take the pool cover off. I just go like this. I also flip it so that the part that's dirty hits the grass, and the pool part is not on the grass. That's what I do when I take it off. Um, also ignore that it's kind of lopsided. It happened in the storm. Something happened to the pool. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this happened. If you do know why this happened, please comment down below. Tell me how I can fix it. If I have to drain it all and redo it, I don't know. There's leaves, there's dirt, there's a lot of bugs. There's, it's just gross. It's disgusting. The first thing whoa, that I like to do is I like to vacuum the pool. This vacuum was on Amazon. I forgot how much money it was, under $80. I'll link it, probably like $40. Not even. Not even, $30, $25. Um, and it, all it does, it comes into these like three pieces. Um, this is the vacuum part. All you do is you put the bag that it comes with. It's kind of dirty. There's some still some stuff in it from the last time I used it. Oops, and it went in the pool. Put it on this part. I just put the little bag on like this and then I'm gonna take my hose and put it in here. And I'm just gonna go for it. But because it's overflowing, I'm actually gonna dump a little bit of the water out. Um, yeah, and this is how I do it. I'm going to screw my little vacuum. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. I'm gonna screw the vacuum. Screw you, vacuum, you're a piece of I'm just kidding, I love this thing. I would like, you know, this is like one of the top 10 inventions, honestly. Throw that in. Turn the hose on and I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get right in there. You just slide it on the bottom and just picks it all up. Like you see, it's sucking. So this is how this thing works. The water goes through here, creates suction, sucks up everything that comes in its place like a vacuum should do and will do. Um, and see, see how it's pushing? So it will add some water to the pool. That's why I like to dump out just a little bit. Um, so it will add some water to the pool, which you gotta keep it be in mind if it's overflowing, which mine tends to do. Um, but yeah, this is just how you do it. As you can see, the bottom is getting a lot cleaner. This doesn't get every single thing, but it does really 
work. You can also buy those ones, like the robot ones, but I think those are a lot more expensive than this thing. You can also suck this stuff on the top off by just going like this very lightly. It'll suck up this helicopter. You see how it just went in there, said bye. Bye, we don't want you. And so sometimes I like just going to the top and sucking off Sucking off, I don't like sucking off. Um, blah, <laughs> sucking the stuff at the top of the pool. As you can see, there's a lot of leaves and bugs and gross things that we sucked up. This one's pretty intuitive, but you can also use skimmers to get some other parts of it that you can't get up with the vacuum. I highly recommend these two because this one is just like, you know, little simple at the top. This one you can go deep and like go jellyfishing like in SpongeBob. As you can see, I could just scoop it up like this. Sometimes I bang it on the side, which is probably not good for it, but that's what I do, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then like if I wanna go like deeper in, I'll just go like this. I'll kind of like make a little whirlpool and go around. Like so this is a chlorine floaty. I think I mentioned it in some of my other videos. If you wanna watch them, you know, they'll be in the link below. Um, so this you just open up like this, like so, and you add a chlorine puck to it. I'll link the chlorine that I use and I'll link the floaty that I have. It comes in a bunch of different character characters, I don't know. You just screw it like this, plop it in, and your pool has chlorine. And I haven't had a single algae problem, knock on wood. <laughs> this filter, I bought this filter online, I'll link it below. We just nailed it to this piece of wood so it's a little elevated from the ground. It filters the pool, I guess, I think. I think it does its job because when I check the filter it's sometimes dirty and then you can just change it out. So I'll link this one as well and some other options. But yeah, this is how I keep my pool clean, squeaky clean, squeaky fresh. If you want to see some more inflatable pool videos, make sure to comment that down below and subscribe to my channel because I post videos every single freaking week on Love K Ray, queen of inflatable pools. And I'm taking that, I'm taking that title and I'm running with it. I'm swimming with it, baby. And I'll see you next time here on Love K Ray.